I just finished building the Ninjago City Markets. This is what I like, and this is what I don't like about this set. I like the fact that we have gotten our fourth addition to the Ninjago City line, joining the Ninjago City, Ninjago Docks, and Ninjago Garden. I like the size of the Ninjago City Markets, measuring in at 46 centimeters tall, 51 centimeters wide, and 25 centimeters deep, and comprising of a whopping 6,163 pieces. I like how the Ninjago City Markets looks from the front view, from the back view, from the left side view, from the right side view, from the top, and even from the bottom looking upwards. I don't like how the first and second floors have a lot of exposed studs. It would have been better if it was all tiled up. So I tiled up my set and I think it looks a lot better. I like the design of the Ninjago City Markets. Similar to the other buildings in this line, we get an ancient architecture on the bottom floor, the more modern architecture on the second floor, and then the futuristic architecture on the top floor. I like the vibrant colors included in all the structures in this set. We get some lime green, teal, and white. We get some purple, dark blue, and teal. We get some light, bright orange. We get some light aqua and brown. We get some sand blue, teal, and dark red. We get some white and dark brown. We get some dark tan, brown, and white. And a few structures in red, giving this set an overall Asian vibe. Similar to the other Ninjago City sets, I like how the water is all tiled up. I like how you can access a lot of the rooms by breaking away the walls. And I like how you can slide out the interior of these rooms for better accessibility. I don't like how the floors of these rooms have exposed studs. It would have looked a lot better if all the rooms were tiled up. So I tiled up all the room floors in my set and I think it looks a lot better. I like the flushing toilet feature where you can drop brown circular tiles into the toilet. And then when you flush the toilet, the poop comes out through the sewer system. It's a cool design where the poop drops onto a ramp that brings it to the sewer opening. However, I don't like the fact that sometimes the poop gets clogged on its way down to the ramp. I also don't like how it's very difficult to drop the poop into the toilet because the opening in the roof is so small. You really have to aim to hit the toilet bowl. However, I did figure out if you use a brick separator as a ramp, you can easily aim the poop into the toilet bowl or else the poop just hits the floor. I like how we get a working cable car that can be moved up and down by turning a gear which activates a pulley system. I don't like how the cable car sometimes gets stuck between the doors on the second floor when you're trying to bring it all the way up to the top and sometimes it even gets stuck on the way down when you're trying to get through the same door. But I do like how you can load the passengers into the cable car at the top. I like how they designed the mini pool table in the karaoke bar because they use some clever building techniques. I like the little red brick built two armed octopus on the top of the Sushimi restaurant. I like how they have a wheelchair accessible lift that can help a minifigure access the cable car loading area on the second floor. And another lift that can help a wheelchair get from the second floor to the third floor of the board tower. I like how we are given a fully furnished bakery with a cool bread oven design. They integrated the staircase with the oven maximizing the use of limited interior space. You also get a bread maker's workstation with a rolling pin some baguettes and pretzels. There are also stairs that lead up to a second floor apartment which has a nice bed and lamp. We get a blacksmith shop with an office above that has a hidden door under a flat bed where a ladder can drop down so a minifigure can climb up. We get a cable car station on the third floor and the ground floor. We get a grocery store with a nice tiled pattern on the floor. However, I don't like the fact that it's hard to see the second floor apartment above the grocery store because there's no breakaway wall here. From the doorway, you can see a bunk bed. The board tower has a cell phone store on the second level and an office on the third level. We get a karaoke club with a pool table, jukebox, and karaoke stage. We get a sushimi sushi shop on the rooftop food court. I like how we get two nano figures of Jay and Cole who aren't present in the minifigure lineup for this set. I like how we get a rooftop food court. However, I don't like the fact that there aren't any tables or chairs to sit down and eat. I like how unique the architectural design of this set is. The bottom floor looks beautiful with its hardwood exterior, and the top floor looks so unique with its futuristic looking building. I like how the Ninjago City Markets have the familiar billboards along the railings, similar to the billboards that are included in the Ninjago City, Ninjago Docks, and Ninjago Gardens. I like how they constructed the red bridge in the middle of the market. The design looks beautiful and it's a great centerpiece in this model. I like how they included the sky bridge to connect the left and right buildings of this market. I like how they used book covers to construct a canopy for the bakery. I like how they added a tree on the top floor, but it would have been better if there were more leaves added to the tree. I don't like how bare the middle of the bottom floor is. They could have added more food stands, benches, or trees and plants to fill up this area. I don't like how bare the sky bridge is connecting the two buildings. They could have added more trees and benches to this area to accompany the potted plants and red pergola. I don't like all the stickers in this set. It would have been better if all the designs were printed on tiles instead. However, I do like all the designs of the stickers because they are well done. I like how they made a little spout of water flowing into the river. I like the building experience of this set. Although there are 51 bags to get through, 
Aside from the water, there weren't any repetitive builds, and the 10 hours it took to complete this huge set went by really quickly. I like how we get a whopping 21 minifigures in this set. I like the Ninja Lloyd minifigure that we get in this set. He comes with a cool molded green head cover and an awesome molded green mask and scarf. His torso and leg printing look great, and when you take off his mask, he has a cool printed mask on his face. Lloyd has an alternate face as well. I like the Nia minifigure that we get in this set. She also comes with a cool molded blue head cover and an awesome blue molded mask and scarf. I like her torso print and leg printing and when you take off her molded mask she has a cool printed mask on her face and she has an alternate face as well. I like the Detective Zane minifigure with his monochromatic grey outfit. He has a nice grey hat and a torso of a trench coat but there's no printing on his leg. I like the Blacksmith Kai minifigure with his trademark brown Kai hairpiece. I like how there is a molded red bandana blended into his hairpiece. He has a nice torso and an apron printed onto his legs. Kai also has an alternate face where he is angry. I like the Urban Aaron minifigure with his short black curly hairpiece. He has an awesome orange dragon torso which has a dragon tail on the back. His leg printing looks great as well. I like the Urban Sora minifigure with her pink pigtail hairpiece. She has an awesome torso and leg printing as well as a left golden arm that is also printed. On her back torso there's a printed pink kitty cat. I like her face with her pink eyes and she has an alternate face as well where she is angry. I like the Misdemeanor minifigure with her red mohawk. She has a cool looking headpiece with red lens goggles. Her torso and leg printing are pretty cool as well. And I like how she is holding two blowtorch guns. I like the Hound Dog McBrag minifigure with his long brown sideburns and Fu Manchu mustache. He has a cool share of torso and an alternate face where his mouth is closed. I like the Camille minifigure with her purple punk hairpiece. She has an awesome matching purple torso and leg printing. I like the Gareth minifigure with his brown Elvis hairpiece. He has a cool headpiece where his eyes are closed and it looks like he's singing. I like his torso where he's wearing suspenders and a star necklace. And he's holding a cleaning rag for the glasses of the karaoke club where they just repurpose the molded cast piece. He has an alternate face where he is smiling. I like the Cyrus Borg minifigure who comes with a molded wheelchair. He's wearing glasses with a plain black haircut and a plain gray jacket and black shirt. He also has on one black glove. I like the Racer 7 minifigure with her cool brown hairpiece. She has a bionicle flaming head on her front torso and a cool design on her back torso. I like the Gail Gossip minifigure with her ponytail hairpiece. She's wearing glasses with a pearl necklace and a pink jacket and shirt. She does have an alternate face where she looks worried. I like the Vinnie Folson minifigure who is holding a big movie camera. He has on a blue jacket with a name tag and on the back of his torso is a global symbol. I like the Sushimi Chef minifigure who has a face where he is sweating. He has a cool printed apron on his torso with the same mascot on his back torso. I like the Baker minifigure who has a great looking baker's hat with hair molded onto it. She has a simple chef outfit with plain tan pants. She also has an alternate face where her eyes are closed and she's smiling. I like the Boat Vendor minifigure with his Sensei Wu hat. He has a nice sand green outfit with printing on his torso and back torso. I like the Street Fender with her short grey granny hair. She has a nice headpiece where she is wearing glasses and her eyes are closed and an alternate face where her eyes are open. She is wearing suspenders with no printing on her legs. I like the Borg store employee with her big black curly hairpiece. She has a nice blue torso with printing on the back. And she has an alternate face where she's not smiling. I like the tea vendor with his short straight bang haircut. He has a printed torso with a blue dragon head on the front and a blue dragon tail on the back. I like the Dojo Kid minifigure with her brown pigtail hairpiece. She has a cool printed torso with back torso printing as well. So what do you like? What do you don't like? Comment below, let me know, and we will see you all in the next video. Bye.